Number three, what is the operation between this, these two rational expressions? What is the operation? Does anybody know, Christian? What's the division? When we divide, it's essentially we are multiplying by what? Reciprocal. Reciprocal. So that's the first thing you've got to do. And there's no shortcut. You've got to go ahead and write the whole thing out. What else should I be doing? And I said I should do it, but I didn't do it. What should I do? Remember I said we should do it every time? What's the first thing you should do? Switch parentheses. Parentheses. Thank you. Right. Uh, but I'm going to do that in the same step here, x squared minus x minus 2. Okay, so I just converted it to a multiplying problem, because that's what you do when you're dividing fractions. And I put parentheses around all the polynomials. In this case, they're all trinomials. Now, uh, next step, we've got everything kind of set up for success. And uh, what do we do next? What can we do with x squared plus x minus 6? Factor it, that's right. So I'm going to do it up here, x squared plus x minus 6. What are the factors? Can we see that, uh, Sebastian? Yeah. What are the factors of 6? 6 and 1 and 3 and 2. Now, the question is, do any of those factors combine to be a positive 1? Yes, Jason? 6 and 1. 6 and 1 does not add to be oh, 5. Oh, it's 3 and 2. 3 and 2, but in what form? x3 <laughs> and x2, but is this plus 3 and minus 2 or minus 3? Plus minus Plus and minus, that's right, because plus 3 minus 2, when you add 3 plus 2, okay, you add 3 minus 2, sorry, you're going to get plus 1, and the middle term is plus 1, okay? So factoring now, chapter 6 stuff should be coming pretty quickly to you, all right? And it, it needs to for you to be able to do these questions. Now I can go ahead and write in this part of the problem, I can replace x squared plus x minus 6 with x plus 3, x minus 2, and that's all going to be over... Uh, something else which we're going to replace because we're we're assuming that everything's going to factor. We can't necessarily assume that, but you notice that all of these are what? What kind of um, what kind of uh, polynomials? Trinomial. They're all trinomials, and they all are trinomials with what? In the first term is what? X. X squared. X squared. Yeah. In other words, the coefficient is equal to what? X. No, X. the coefficient is oh. a number. One. One. The invisible one. If it were 5 or 4, it'd be different. Okay, Arthur. Uh, what about x squared minus 8x plus 7? What would be the factors of 7 on that one? x minus 7, x minus 1. X, good. x minus 7, x minus 1. Good job. Right? Because negative 7 plus negative 1 is negative 8. And negative 7 times negative 1 is equal to 7. You can try it. If you FOIL this back out as a check, you'll get x squared minus 1x minus 7x is negative 8x. And negative 7 times negative 1 is positive 7. All right, moving right along. How about over here? X squared minus 4, X minus 21. Yes, Lorena? X minus 7 and X plus 3. X minus 7, X plus 3. Good job. Because negative 7 plus 3 is negative 4, and negative 7 times 3 is, is negative 21, right? This is coming back to you here. What about this one over here? X squared minus X minus 2. Oftentimes, these are a little tricky when they have the invisible one. You can always put that in there if you want. That makes it a little easier. It might make it easier. So anybody get the factors for this one? Yes, uh, Jason? X minus 1 on X plus 1. X what? X minus 1 on X plus 1. X, no, it doesn't sound right, because you have to end up with multiplying. X minus 2, X plus 1. X minus 2, okay, that sounds better. Um, X minus 2, X plus 1, was it? Okay, good. All right, there you go. You got that clearly, Sebastian? You can see that? Yep. Now, all that factoring came pretty easily. We were lucky. No tricks. Pretty straightforward. What do we do now? Yes, Jordan. Um, you can you can cross cancel yep. x minus two and x minus two. There you go. X minus and that becomes one over one. Yes, Julian. You can cancel x minus seven and x minus seven. That's right. That's one over one. Yes, Julian. Keep going. Then you can cancel x plus three and x plus three. Good. And then it'll be x over one. Over x minus one over. X minus one over x plus one. That's our answer, and we're done on that question. Okay, so, but you notice that we, we can't, you know, the cancelling is fun, all right? It's easy to do once you've got things going. But look at all the work we did to get there. We had to make sure we put everything in parentheses. We had to switch things around because the operation is division means we multiply by the reciprocal. And then we had to factor each of those elements because we could, because we recognized this is a trinomial. These are each trinomials with a coefficient of one, and we were able to get the factors to work in the middle term, and it worked out. So there we go. Recap. Click. 
Somebody please tell me what the difference between this question is and the ones we did just a minute ago. Yes, Jordan. They were multiplying and dividing. That's right. You've got to be aware of the operation symbol. Tonight's homework, you're going to get a mixed bag. You're going to get a mixed review, which means that you're going to get questions. It's not going to tell you, oh, you know, do this, and it's not going to be 10-2 and do this. It's going to just say, here, solve. And you got to figure out what you have to do. And you got to know which operation symbol you have. So, Arthur, that's a subtraction symbol, right? Again, guys, what's the first thing we always do in these problems, Julian? Oh, we, 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 uh, we look at the whether it's a division or a subtraction. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And we've, we've already done that, though. We found out this subtraction. Okay, Shane. Common denominator? Yeah, but one thing before that. You're right, but there's one thing. Lorena? You distribute the negative. Uh, almost. Before that, we do one thing. It's a housekeeping thing. What do we do? We always put the parentheses in place, okay? Because some people might not recognize that they have to distribute that unless the parentheses are there. So, there we go, okay? Put the parentheses in place. Um, okay, so if you haven't done that, please do that on your sheet. Uh, by the way, you, you're going to be handed in a copy of this, all the notes that you're taking now, as well as your original, and a, re a reprint on Thursday. That's part of your homework. So, going right along here, we have a common denominator. When we're adding and subtracting fractions, you have to look for a common denominator. What is the common denominator? Y plus 5. That's right. So I put an equal sign, I put a long line here, and I put y plus 5. That's our lowest common denominator. We got all that, Sebastian? Great. Now, uh, once we've done that, what do we do for the numerator? Yes, Jordan? We put them all on one line. Yeah, we put them all on one line. Y minus 3. And now, what about this, though? That's you tricky. You have to distribute you the have, negative. That's right. You have to distribute the negative. A lot of people didn't, or they kind of didn't, and then they got it wrong. I don't know what it is. So we get negative 2y plus 7. Very clearly, guys, that's it. You've got to practice that. And even though you may know it in concept, you've got to do it until you get it right 25 out of 25 times. You just get it right every time. No fail. All right, now what do we do? Now, in my case, I, w I suggest very strongly that you rewrite the numerator. So many people I see trying to do this in their head. It's too tricky. Math is just too evasive. So what would we write there for the numerator, Kira? How would we write that? Y minus 2y. Good. Minus 3 Right. OK. All right, all over y plus 5. We're almost done now. These are like terms. What's y minus 2y? It's negative y, right? And negative 3 plus 7. Plus 4. Right. Over and it's five. negative y. So, so many people, like, you know, I got some y plus 4s over y plus 5s. What happened to the negative? Ah, little mistakes. People didn't rewrite it here, so they didn't quite get that part right. Uh, you know, I, I got a bunch of little things like that. that it's just no need for that. You guys, just take your time, rewrite things step by step, and you'll get it right every time. Bang, boom. Good job. All right, let's uh, 